Congratulations. We are so excited and delighted to are here at the Den of Artists. We are not a school. We are not an academy. We call it a den because the den is a small place where the family goes together to have fun, to relax, and enjoy themselves. Welcome to the Den of Artists. <laughs> I just love the energy of the assembly. I wish we would have them every morning. I really don't like all the energy in the morning. I really wish the teacher would tone it down a bit. Why? All that energy makes us want to be great. Don't you want to be great? What even is great anymore? I don't want to hear it at home. I don't want to hear it here. What is that? Oh, these are just pills. Are you sick? No, they just help me. I see them, man. See you later. Hey ladies. Hey Mark. Mark. You auditioning for the dance team? Um, no, I actually quit the dance team. What? You're like one of the best dancers on the team. Yeah, the best. I, I'm just not feeling it anymore, you know? Hey Jen. Um, hi Amber. You ready to go? Um, where are you going? Um, we just have some studying to do. Well, cool, can I come? No, it's, it's just us. Oh. Okay, bye. Gorney, is it just me or does Jennifer act strange? No, you're right. Something is wrong. We should go talk to Mr. McVaughn. Okay, let's go. Hey, what pays me a visit? Can we speak to you? Sure, what's, what's going on? Jennifer. Wait a minute, I already got this under control. Basically, I have a meeting with her in just a few minutes. Okay. Hey, Kevin. Hey, Carla. Can I sit with y'all? Sure. sure. Take a seat. What's up, Lana? My sister's not the same, and I know what's wrong. If you know what's wrong, then why are you crying? Because if I tell on her, she'll be mad at me. Wow, that's deep and juicy. Yeah, blackmail juicy. Are you going to blackmail her, Lana? You'll never have to do dishes again. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I wish it was that easy. Whatever it is, Lana, Sometimes you have to do and say things to keep your sister safe, even if they get mad. Yeah, my sister get mad at me all the time. Why? Because I love them so much. I tell it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that advice. Hello, Jennifer. Thank you for coming. What's going on? Nothing. Jennifer, we've all noticed some changes about you and we, we're concerned. Well, things aren't cool here at home or at school. Well, Jennifer, just know that we're, we're here for you and if you have any issues or problems, remember that you are not alone. Hello, Amber, we're, we're having a private meeting right now. I know, I just wanted to check on her. She's okay. Since when did you become her bodyguard? Did, did I miss something? I'm not her bodyguard, just her best friend. My only friend. Well, uh, we should go now. Lorna, what are you doing up at Classman Hall? I'm looking for you. Jennifer, what are you doing? I don't have time for this. Please. No, Jennifer, I'm sorry for you hating me, but I love you too much for you to go through this. What are you talking about, Lorna? Hush, Lorna. Okay, I'm gonna go now. No! Amber, please don't leave. Mr. McMahon, you know how last month you taught us in our emotional intelligence class the I statement that can help us stand up for ourselves? That's correct. Well, I don't like what the drugs are doing to you, Jennifer. Drugs? Jennifer? Yes, drugs. Marta! No, I have the right to stand up for myself, and I feel like Amber is pressuring you to do this. Okay, it's her choices. Yeah, bad ones. I need you to tell mom what you are doing. And we need to get you help. Please, Jennifer. 
I'm so glad that you know that you should not use someone else's medications. And if somebody is constantly pressuring you over and over, please see an adult. Lorna, as for you, thank you for your I statement and standing up for right, even when you didn't feel comfortable and felt that others would criticize you for that. Amber, as for you, illegal drugs. Okay, they're not illegal, they're my mom's. Amber, if the drugs are not prescribed for you, that is considered illegal. And because of that, not only do we have to call your mom, but we have to report this to the police. Thank you, Laura, for standing up for me. I just didn't know you cared so much.